When you think of the Black Panthers, you think of their guns and their sternness and their leather. I came from the mud, there's dirt on my hands. What was really true about them is that they were interested in transforming their communities. Everybody was ready. We were ready to bring about this change. Seeing the Panthers on the steps of the Capitol, and I was just like, they're crazy. I want to go there. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Black Panther Party really started when the first slaves came to America. The civil rights movement had made some definite improvements for blacks, but there was still incredible poverty. It was endemic. This was a bottled up response of having to live in these conditions for so long. There's a similarity in that there's just this anger that is brewing. We're in a war zone in our own community. At least the Panthers, when they did emerge, looked organized and structured and were telling people, don't burn down your own community. The Panthers were not about violence. They didn't want to come out being violent. But the propaganda was so intense. I'm not for folks getting hit upside the head. I'm for defending ourselves. The examiner made a report that we were anti-white. We don't hate nobody because of their color. We hate oppression. The enemy is not any white person. It's the system that we are uh, governed under. People want decent housing, decent education for their kids. They want social justice. They had food programs, and they had school programs, and they had health programs. We didn't get no blueprint on how to do it. We just got a memo, you have to open up a free medical clinic. If we didn't have this bus service, how many times would that inmate see his kids? We gave out 10,000 bags of groceries. We think about 20,000 children are getting free breakfast, and you're going to stop that? We did a lot of great things, and our legacy is a powerful legacy, and it will, it will never die.